All right, we are here in Bonzel, right off 15 and 76. We've got myself, Billy, Amber, Rick, the bikes. I am on this beautiful Ultra Limited 2022 from Biggs Harley Davidson. The very start of the trip here past that gas station is 395 North. 215, beautiful Riverside. Just about 160 miles into this trip on this 2022 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. And it is comfortable to say the least. Nice wide seat, soft, suspension's great. Until you take a trip like this, you really don't realize what a difference it makes in the style of bike you're riding. You think about it logically in your head, you go, yeah, of course, but until you actually experience the difference, we'll see if I'm singing the same tune when we get to uh, South Lake Tahoe at 530 something miles. So far, so good. We're a little over 300 miles into this trip and this bike is holding up fantastic. Or is it fantastically? Whatever. 400 miles in now and feeling great. We're a little over 500 miles now and just before the last gas stop, I have to admit my lower back was a little bit sore, my butt's a little bit sore, but three gas stops total and each time taking about 10 to 20 minutes, give or take, stretching out a little bit, walking. Uh, you're, I'm all good. And I've talked about how smooth this bike is. It's, it's quite impressive actually with how I feel after uh, 500 miles, but also, you know, cutting through the wind, it, it really does a good job there as well. I hit some pretty good gusts going through uh, the valley and then through some of the mountainous areas, but smooth, smooth all the way around. And obviously with a 114 motor, it's plenty of power. Look at my hair, it looks so good. Oh, yeah. Helmet head, hey, we made it. We made it, 530 miles, guys. Like all right, Amber, how frozen are your hands? No. Yeah, <laughs> she's got these ape hangers right over here. She has no guard like we do. We all have some kind of guard. Rick's got hand oh, guards. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, oh my God, you can see how cold you are. I have purple lips. So have do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Need some eye drops. Mark, you've only been waiting four or five hours. Yeah, there we go. Hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome. It's our arrival video. He can't stop that. The next day we rode around the lake and this is just a small piece of that video. I wanna show you in another video our entire trip to South Lake Tahoe and Virginia City, a mining town from the 1800s with a steam locomotive and everything. It was absolutely spectacular. But this video is about the bike, so back to that. Now look how visible I am in front of my buddy Mark here with the running lights, the brakes, and the turn signal, a huge safety feature. So I really like the Daymaker headlight. As you know, on uh, all the new Harleys for the last several years, they've got these really, really nice lights. They're not like the, the way they used to be. Um, but let me put on the auxiliaries down here, show you the difference. Look at that. You should be able to see a major difference there. So while the auxiliary light helps a lot, I gotta tell you, not having a little light down, if you can even see my thumb, you see the green light goes on when it's on, and it's much better with the auxiliary, and it's much safer that way when you're riding at night. But watch, see this little green light? That's when it's on. Well, if it's dark and I don't know exactly where that's at, how, you know, that's to me is not safe. So I gotta say, that's a ding against this bike for sure. Once we were back from the trip, it was time to visit Dave Stahl, Jason, and everybody at KUSI to put this on TV. Hey, listen, this is a beautiful motorcycle, Clint. And you've put, you've put almost 1,300 miles on this bad boy. Yeah, last Thursday morning, I, I left for the 520-mile ride to South Lake Tahoe. I've never done that in a day before, and this bike is made for it. We rode around the lake. Even uh, though people watch that movie, Wild Hogs, Wild Hogs yeah. and think they only ride from their garage to the coffee shop <laughs> about eight miles away, with their leather jacket, did you have your leather jacket on? Uh, of course, and that's what I do when I go to the coffee shop. It's, it just was just an exception, and we did the almost 1,300 miles from Thursday to Sunday. We missed the snow in South Lake Tahoe by a day and a half. Wow, good, oh, yeah. good. But this bike right here from Biggs Harley Davidson, Willer and the crew, and thanks to Cody, by the way, for a 900 song playlist that I used on this. This can do Bluetooth, it'll get your waypoints, you know all the specs. It's yeah. a 114 motor, right. 122 foot-pounds of torque, but it's a cruiser. It yeah. is. Oh, it's the such a traveler. Sure. Yes. Four speakers, the Boombox GTS the with fairings sound. fairings are, are smart because it keeps the heat in with between your oh, legs. Yeah. Okay, he always brings up such great points because that's something I wanted to look at. Check this out. I thought these were bogus. I really did. 
when they showed me, they go, hey, you know, you can use these levers here, these vents, oh, yeah. for whether it's hot or cold to either keep the wind off you or get it going on your legs and your arms. Sure. Right. I thought, yeah, whatever. I used them right away. Yeah. These work like magic. Really? I'm telling you. Yes. And you can have this, this vent right here as yes. well. Yes. You can open and close those vents. And I'll tell you something, I thought it was bogus. I'm like, nah, those aren't going to do much. They do a ton in the heat and the cold to either block the wind or let the wind through. So you got some cool features in this too. You got your little bag for your documents. You can put, I don't know, phone, water bottle in there. I did. You got your auxiliary plug right here. Plenty of space. And... I put luggage on top of there and just strapped it down. Really cool. Now these are the radiators. It's an actually fully liquid cooled Harley. These are your auxiliary lights, your fog lights, your under lights. And on this side, your tour pack bag lock, your saddlebag bag lock, and an extra space for whatever you'd like to add to the bike. Now this is your left handlebar. That is your cruise control. You press it once to turn it on. And each time you press it down, it'll increase your speed by one mile per hour. And the opposite, when you press up, it'll decrease your speed by one mile per hour. It's very simple to use. That is your home screen button for your GTS boombox. Then you have your intercom system, Bluetooth connectivity to your phone. That's obvious. That is your turn signal. That's your horn. And then you have your brights and your standard lights. Now on the right side of your handlebars, that is your mouse and that is your back button. You can control and move things on your GTS boombox screen. You have your signal. You have your switch here. Now this switch here in the state of California, it's illegal to make you take your hand off of the right handlebar to turn your bike on and off. So that's what that's for. You also have your start button and your hazards. I wanna show you a little bit about this GTS boombox. I've showed you in the past, but because I took this for so many miles, I learned a lot more about it. It really is amazing, the technology. I mean, simple stuff like the time. I'm using the USB, thanks to Cody, right in there. I could connect if I wanted, you know, my phone and all that, and even in my pocket, and you can put your phone in here depending on you know, what your preference is, but I sure enjoyed 900 something songs from Cody. But this is how you go up and down with the volume. You can move the tracks, you know, that way. It's real simple, really cool. Now, if I wanna to go to home, I can either press it here, okay? And then once I get it there, I use this button to go left or right, depending on which way I wanna go with what offer. So you got navigation, okay. I haven't put a route in here since we did uh, South Lake Tahoe, but I can also press this again this way and it will take you in closer. You know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Press this again and it'll take you back to home. I don't want navigation, I wanna to go to phone. Now, I didn't hook this up because, you know, I'm not going to do that. It's not my bike, but contacts, messages. I mean, it's just, it's amazing what this will do. You can also come down if you want to use headphones, intercom, comm system. This is for the headset that you can get with the bike for you and the passenger. Audio settings, you can go into that if you want to, your bass, your treble. I like where it's at. I probably wouldn't have moved anything, but, you know, just move it around, audio routing. You know, music, media, your comm system. You can do voice prompts if you want. It's crazy what this thing can do. Fade, volumes, all that stuff. But what I want to do is show you the different display. Screen brightness, button brightness, colors. Because this is touchscreen, you can also just do it there. And I can do that. Or I can go home again. You know, all this, man. It's just, you can get there from either these buttons over here and here, or from the home screen. I wanna check out the engine information. You've got your check oil on the upper left. You've got the distance since your last service on the upper right. Now this is a different tripometer. I did over 1300 miles, as I said, but it gives you your average speed, how many stops you've made, how much fuel you've used, your average miles per gallon, how long the trip took. There's so much more. Check it out for yourself. And I've got the specs listed below. So a little over 1,300 miles. Thanks to Biggs Harley-Davidson in San Marcos for letting me take this thing out. It is smooth as a cloud when you ride on it. One of the top bikes I've ever ridden on for distance and the most distance that I put on a bike uh, ever actually for anything that I've reviewed.
Uh, this is obviously great for traveling distance. It's smooth, it's easy, it's powerful. It is heavy, 917 pounds, as I said earlier in the video. So you do have to get used to that pulling it off the stand. As far as having music and the four speakers, and if you had a passenger, man, this is the bike, I think, really. It's just made for doing a ton of miles. Thanks for watching, ride safely, and I'll see you on the next one.